Hey everyone, it's Asa, and welcome to my video on how to do item math. EFT has been around for 15 sets now, and it's extremely common for the ROM bill to kind of be considered best in slot by the community, uh, when that can be pretty easily refuted by some simple math. So the point of this video is to demonstrate that you can actually do it fairly easily on your own, so hopefully you'll feel confident enough to do that, but I'm going to use Blue versus Shoujin, specifically on Caitlyn as an example for this video. So I generally just use it in uh, Google Sheets. This is free, everyone can use it. All you need is a Google account, um, but we can go ahead and look at our data for Caitlyn. Caitlyn with three items, current patch with seven Battle Academia. Uh, you can see that Shoujin is built much, much more frequently than Blue Buff. However, it is easily shown that's actually a weaker item. Furthermore, Shoujin is also harder to build in this comp because your Jace best in slot requires Sterex and Bloodthirster, which is two swords. And then your Caitlyn best in slot also really wants some more swords. So you can see her more, most common build has a sword. Her second most popular build actually has four swords in it. Uh, so you can actually save your very, very valuable swords in this comp by building blue buff, which is just a better item. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Uh, first of all, we need to know what the items do. Let's just go ahead and go over here. Um, look at blue and shoujin. So blue gives us six mana regen. Shoujin gives us five bonus mana on attacks plus one mana regen. Uh, let's also go ahead and get our Caitlyn data while we're here. Caitlyn's an attack caster, so she gains 7 mana per attack and 2 mana regen as a baseline. Her baseline attack speed is 0.75, so now we have all our info, we can calculate the difference between blue and shoujin. So let's go set ahead and say Kate with shoujin, uh, mana per second, mana per second. Uh, so this is going to be our mana from auto attacks plus regen. The mana from auto attacks is simply going to be our attack speed plus uh, our bonus attack speed. Um, so if we have 20%, we would basically multiply our attack speed by 120%, right? So maybe I can say like one plus bonus attack speed. Sorry, this is multiplied, my bad. And that will be multiplied by our mana per attack. This is basically how much mana uh, attack speed is always calculated in attacks per second, so this is how much mana we're getting per second from our auto attacks. And then regen is regen per second, so it's just really easy to add on. So with Shoujin, um, our attack speed is 0.75. Uh, let's just say we have the most popular build, which is just Infinity Edge, Shoujin, and Striker's Flail, so we, we would have 10% bonus attack speed in this case. So we're attacking a little bit faster. You can see that it's actually showing us we're attacking 0.825 times per second instead of 0.75. Um, and then our mana per attack, normally we would get seven, but because we have Shoujin, we'll get 12. And then our regen, normally we'll have one, but because we have Shoujin, uh, sorry, normally we would have two, but because we have Shoujin, we have three. Uh, normally, Kate being an attack caster gets two baseline, Shoujin gets one more. So you can see this is our mana per second with Shoujin. Um, 12.9 mana per second. So now let's see how we're doing with blue. Kate with blue. Uh, let's just go ahead and use the same build here, except replacing Shoujin with blue. So our attack speed is 0.75. We're multiplying by uh, the strikers. So we're saying we have blue infinity as strikers flail, 1.1. And then instead of getting 12 mana per attack, we're only getting seven mana per attack. However, we're getting eight total mana regen um, because she has two baseline as an attack caster and blue gives us six. So we can see that blue actually outperforms Shoujin pretty significantly um, by almost a full tick of mana regen. Now, let, what if we have even more attack speed? So let's say, let's go back and look at our common Caitlyn builds, seven battle academia, Caitlyn with three items, so let's say maybe we have like this third most popular build, or um, Giant Slayer is 15%, Strikers is only 10%, Last Whisper is the most of all of these, 
uh, giving 20% tax fee. So let's say we have 20%. So this is pretty easy. I'll just change this to 1.2 instead of 1.1 and change this over here to 1.2. And you can see even with 20% tax fee, blue still outperforms Shoujin. Um, that being said, there are a few other differences. Uh, in fact, they actually favor blue. So Shoujin gets 15 AD, 10, 10 AP. Blue gets the exact same amount of AD. Uh, it gave a tiny bit less last patch, but that was changed. And blue actually gives more AP, which isn't super relevant on Caitlyn, but it is better. So basically, uh, blue is pretty much strictly better, even if you somehow have a very, very high attack speed build. Uh, like if you have last list per plus striker's flail, this might be more common on Senna, for example. Uh, Senna with three items. Um, you can see with her most popular builds, you're very rarely getting that much, but this fourth most popular build is 30% attack speed. So even with 30% attack speed, we'll just change this to 1.3, 1.3 down here. Even with 30% attack speed, blue is still better. Now, if you somehow had more than 30% attack speed through something like Backup Dancers, then in that case, Shoujin could be better. However, you can see that in most cases, blue is simply better. Senna is very similar to Caitlyn. Uh, I'll just show that real fast. She's also an attack caster with 0.75 attack speed. So she's actually using the exact same base stats as Caitlyn. Um, there is one other very, very, very important thing that favors blue a lot more, which is if your unit ever has to walk, you might see this at the end of a fight where um, maybe like your carry is over here in the corner, your opponent's carry is over here, you kill their front line and your carry has to walk up. Every, mo every step you take, basically, you're losing an auto attack, while blue still gives you the full amount of regen while you're walking. Another thing that could happen is um, if your opponent has something like a Jarvan and it stuns your carry. You will not gain any mana from auto attacks during this time, but you will still gain mana regen, further favoring blue. So in Senna, the item economy is kind of whatever, but I think the Caitlyn example is a very, very, very clear example where swords are more valuable than tears, yet most people are um, people. Most people are wasting them on Shoujin when they could have a better item with blue buff. So this is just an example of how you can kind of do it, do the uh, math on your own, and you can see this wasn't that hard. Uh, I went pretty slowly explaining every step, and we're still only at an eight minute video. Uh, if I were to do this on my own, it would only take maybe one or two minutes, and you can as well. Hopefully after this video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the Discord, and thank you for watching.